Okay, so a very funny thing just happened. On December 20th, I made a video called Chilling vs. Ripple, where I laid out the differences between the two projects and tried to make a conclusion about which project is the true banker's coin or the banker's crypto. Even though I tried to keep it as neutral as possible, I decided to not upload it after all. And now, a few weeks later, Ripple has actually announced that it has adopted the Chainlink standard for verifiable pricing data around their new Ripple USD, a stablecoin recently launched by Ripple Lab. So uh, with this new major news, I had to make an update video about it. Before we dive into it, don't forget to subscribe. I want to start this video off by explaining what Ripple actually does. Ripple, very similar to Chainlink, wants to create a solution for one of, ba of banking's toughest problems, cross-border payments. Central to Ripple's strategy is the XRP Ledger, a distributed ledger technology similar to blockchain, which powers XRP. The XRP Ledger is designed for swift and affordable international transactions, settling in just 3 to 5 seconds, a significant improvement over traditional banking processes that can take days. This speed is vital for banks, where time directly impacts efficiency and costs. Ripple's use of the XRP Consensus Protocol, or XCP, is a key innovation in this process. Unlike traditional blockchain systems that rely on proof-of-work or proof-of-stake, XCP uses a unique consensus mechanism that combines elements of both systems. When a transition is proposed to the XRP ledger, it is validated by multiple nodes. If a majority of validators agree that the transaction is valid, it is added to the proposed ledger state. This approach enables near-instant transactions, greater energy efficiency and better scalability, making XRP suitable for enterprise-grade financial applications, or at least that's what their goal is. Ripple's on-demand liquidity, previously known as XRapid, is another important feature to mention here. This service allows banks to convert their local currency into XRP send it across borders and convert it back into their destination currency, bypassing the need for traditional mechanisms like Nostro accounts. Nostro accounts are foreign bank accounts that banks maintain overseas to handle transactions in foreign currencies. They are costly and inefficient because they require pre-funding tying up capital. Ripple's solution is to use XRP as an intermediary providing liquidity on demand and reducing both cost and time. This is particularly beneficial in less liquid markets where maintaining large Nostra accounts is impractical. Beyond cross-border payments, Ripple has expanded its focus to include central bank digital currencies or CBDCs. The company is partnered with the Republic of Palau and Bhutan to explore CBDC use cases, showcasing its commitment to modernizing banking infrastructure. Talking about stablecoins and going back to the partnership with Chainlink, let's talk about Ripple's own new stablecoin, Ripple USD. Ripple USD operates on both the XRP Ledger and Ethereum blockchains, which means it's natively compatible with smart contract applications, particularly in the realm of decentralized finance. However, for Ripple USD to be effectively integrated into DeFi applications, it needs high quality, reliable pricing data to manage the inherent risks of price volatility and manipulation. For that, Ripple has adopted the Chainlink standard for their verifiable pricing data, which is crucial for the stablecoin's functionality in DeFi. Chainlink's price feeds are now live on Ethereum, providing uh, Ripple USD with a secure and dependable source of pricing data. This integration enables developers to embed Ripple USD into various DeFi applications for purposing like trading, lending, or more. Chainlink enhances Ripple USD by aggregating data from multiple premium sources, ensuring that price feeds are accurate through a volume weighted average from both on chain and off chain markets. The broad data sourcing strategy makes the feeds resistance to manipulation and or inaccuracies. Quotes from leaders at both Ripple and Chainlink underscore the significance of this partnership. John 8, Chief Business Officer at Chainlink Labs, expressed enthusiasm about working with Ripple to accelerate the adoption of Ripple USD through reliable on-chain data, stating, We're thrilled to be working with Ripple on accelerating the adoption of their recently launched Ripple USD stablecoin through the adoption of Chainlink's standard for verifiable data. Jack McDonald's SVP of Stablecoin at Ripple emphasized the importance of pricing integrity for Ripple USD, stability and trust within the DeFi markets, saying by leveraging the Chainlink standard, we bring trusted data on chain, further strengthening Ripple USD's utility across both institutional and decentralized applications. This partnership not only enhances the utility of Ripple USD within DeFi, but also positions it as a potentially significant player in the stablecoin market. It serves as a bridge between traditional finance and blockchain technology, 
offering the reliability and compliance necessary for enterprise use. Thus, the narrative of Chainlink versus Ripple has evolved into a story of collaboration that could redefine what we understand by bankers crypto or bankers coin or bankers project. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'll read all the comments. I'll definitely reply to them. So uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video and go enjoy your day. Cheers. Bye-bye.